once we are in Madrid, I've seen this wonderful show dedicated to Michael Hermitage. You, you as a curator, tell me about everything about the project. Hi, Judith. Uh, good morning. It's great to see you in, uh, in, in Madrid. Uh, the project actually started uh, exactly two years ago when we opened the exhibition of uh, Ian Chang, which I curated, uh, where we presented the work of Ian Chang in a small courtyard in a very unexpected context. So the idea is a series of exhibitions, a bit like a musée nomad, a bit like a nomadic museum with the Rebajengo Foundation, so that um, every year it's a different location where visitors in an unexpected context can actually see uh, the work of a contemporary artist. It's always the first project of an artist in, in Madrid. So, so like Ian Chang, Michael Armitage has never shown in, in, in Spain, in Madrid. This is uh, his first exhibition. And um, these projects, um, which are curated are actually in Madrid, produced by Isabella Mora. Um, and Isabella actually came up with this wonderful idea. When we, you know, we visited Michael, and Michael talked a lot about, um, about Goya and about it's, it's not so much a genealogy, it's very much like the idea, so I wouldn't say that, you know, my, it's a question of influence, it's just more Goya is a toolbox, like for so many artists, is is a toolbox and, and, and in a way um, artists are painting with Goya in, in that sense and uh, I would say it's definitely, you know, something very often present for Michael, not only the, the paintings of Goya but also the, uh, the drawings and as you say the prints. Um, and, and Isabella's idea was wonderful with the Academia because, of course, um, the Academia has 13 paintings um, of, uh, of Goya, among them some of the favorite paintings of, of Michael. But also, most importantly, of course, the Academia is the place of the, of the prints of, um, of Goya. They have all the cycles, the complete cycles of, uh, of his prints, but not only the prints, but they also uh, at the Academia have the plates, the original plates, which means that they actually can continue also to, to make prints. Uh, so the legacy of the prints, you know, continues. And, uh, uh, and there is a wonderful cabinet. It's like a, one could say a museum within the museum. Uh, but let's speak uh, about all, the work of Michael. Prints. Yeah, so uh, Michael... Um, how, how have you selected the paintings, for example? So we, um, we chose a series of paintings, um, actually, from uh, different years for the exhibition, but from the very beginning, we wanted to accompany them with his extraordinary drawings, with his uh, ink drawings. Um, and I remember actually it began always, like always with a studio visit. And the first sort of two studio visits happened in Michael's painting studio, which is a very beautiful light, either way light filled space, but um, there is always another stairways. And I had no idea where these other stairways would, would lead us, right? It was sort of like, uh, uh, Magic maybe secret. Uh, yeah, maybe a secret studio. And it's only, on the occasion of the third studio visit that actually we could, I could see for the first time this much smaller studio, much more intimate studio. And it was incredible because the walls were covered with uh, hundreds of drawings um, from different periods. Because of course, um, Michael has been drawing and it's not necessarily that these drawings are studies uh, for his paintings, but these drawings are very often ha have their own, own autonomy, their independent works. Um, and we looked at the drawings and there were many, many connections to Goya. So we decided then that the exhibition should have a block of, of drawings. And then all of a sudden, I realized that there was a reference to Usman Sembene. And that actually besides Goya, um, one of the artists uh, Michael often talks about is this legendary filmmaker from Dakar, whom I actually met um, in the early 2000s when I curated the Dakar Biennale. We were in his office and, um, and he, of course, as one of his most famous films did this film Xala, which for, for Michael is a big inspiration where he refers to directly in his drawings and, and, and paintings. So uh, we decided to basically add this film and not only have the Xala film by Usman Sembene, but also have a film by Mankia Diavara, who is actually going to come today uh, to Madrid. And um, uh, Michael and, and Mankia are going to meet for the first time. We're going to have a conversation. And, and so it goes from from Goya to Sembene, like a dialogue in in time and and uh, disciplines. Yeah, it's exactly a dialogue in time and, and disciplines. Is also Michael uh, has a dialogue to, with poetry also, 
uh, for this reason we invited Nakane, the, the poet, the musician, uh, to actually develop a poet for Michael. So in the exhibition there is also one wall uh, with the poem. So as you say, it's an exhibition which also shows Michael as a painter in connection to, to other disciplines. And of course, it's a, a journey in time and through time, because it's in a way that the future is often invented you know, with fragments from the past. Um, and it's also about a crossing of audiences, because obviously the visitors who come, it's very rare that the Academia shows contemporary art. I think it's only existed once or twice over the last 20 years. There was an exhibition, uh, I think, a long time ago of Arno Vreiner, who of course oh, okay. often over paints and draws over, you know, over images of Goya. And uh, at the same time, I think Christina Iglesias had at some point a presentation. Um, of, uh, but it's very rare that there's contemporary art shown there. And it leads, of course, to a crossing of audiences because the visitors who come to see the historic painting in the Academia will all of a sudden see a contemporary artist with Michael Armitage and at the same time the contemporary art audience, the contemporary art visitors who locally, who actually I Madrid, but also visitors of Arco or visitors from abroad, they will actually see uh, by visiting the Michael Armitage show the truly amazing collections of the of the academia. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Thank you so much.